Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we have a new video of fake versus real Pokemon games and it's Pokemon Blue. I found a fake Pokemon box of Pokemon Blue and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of an authentic one. I know that I've done this with the uh, cartridges so today we're gonna do the Pokemon Blue box. I know that um, a lot of these uh, Pokemon games um, with the boxes go for a lot of money. Probably on the upwards of a hundred dollars right now year 2022 maybe it goes up maybe it goes up but uh we're gonna do a side by side comparison to make sure that you don't pay up for a reproduction one i know that uh these fakes are around and hopefully this video would be helpful for you on your pokemon collecting journey so let's check it out And here we go guys, what is the fake Pokemon box? Let me know in the comment section. Um, if you said it was this, then you got it right. So, we have a clear E version here that's fake. As you can see, it's really shiny from the box here compared to the authentic ones. The authentic one has texture, so that's to start with. Um, we're gonna go through the cartridges. Um, last but we're gonna focus more on the box here so I have two different version of clear E clear E means this type of uh, E rating ESRB um, so when there's a clear E there's a two versions which is the error one which, which says playing the Pokemon red version this is the corrected one which is playing the blue version and they're supposed to have sand shrews on the back also has the sand true so so this particular fake has the error version which i've seen it pretty often that the error version has the fake ones so we're gonna do a side by side comparison of that but i just wanted to point out that this is also a y fold an error text text right here of red version um because it's supposed to say blue version in there you can see will never come with the white fold so that's one of the very first telltale sign of uh, this box being fake is uh, it has the error version and it's supposed to be a double flap like this okay and this has the white fold white fold because it looks like a Y here all right and then on top here just the quality of the box because we're going through the error ones is it has these on on the side. This one doesn't have it. As you can see here. Alright. Now color wise, it from afar and in from the pictures it looks like it's pretty similar. But it's purplish in color in real life if you could see closely here. This is purplish and purplish blue in color. This is blue blue. All right, and let's see. Just looking for difference he differences here. The Nintendo is a little bit too much up top. There's more space in here. Um, it did get those stripes, black stripes in there. The R1 for the fake is kind of thicker. This one is uh, thinner. Um, Blastoise itself looks like uh, everything is uh, caught, just the color scheme is kind of off for the fake one, but it's the same exact copy here. So they're getting good at really copying it. Um, this particular one has a TM smudged over, it's supposed to have a TM in there. And this TM asterisk in here um, is kind of lighter, but it also has, so that's the other things that you gotta watch out for um the nintendo logo here was not quite centered when they folded it um so it has more space here the r for the fake one you can barely see the original one you can see it okay the e rating is kind of like blurry the e rating here is really really clear 
and the, it has a TM right there. The TM here, you, could, you can't really see. see. All right. The text itself, once once you get it up close in person, it looks like it's definitely a print, like a fake print. All right. So right side color scheme is different. The fonts are different. Should be red in here. The please recycle, different sizes, different fonts, but it says the same exact thing. Um, apologize for the comparisons of a poor box here. Um, I got my Pokemon games stored right now, so. And look at this. The Japan is like cut off. In here, the Japan is all the way here, and you got some more spaces. All right, Gengar looks pretty good. So, um, the color of the TM here should be white. TM asterisk. This one is black, so they got, they got that they got that wrong. Font differences here. Actually, it's pretty close here. Yeah. All right, left side with the keybone. Everything's pretty close by. It's hard to really tell. Um, looks like they they got a bigger Pokemon logo here. It's like glaring. And Kibon is kind of bigger on the fake one. The Nintendo logo, the R is definitely can't see it. Try to focus. See. In here, you could see the R clearly. Focuses. All right, bottom one. As I said, this one, the fake one, has a Y fold. Supposed to have these double flap. So Y folds have these uh, inner um, cases like these. Have an to hold the cartridge. For the Y folds, double flaps has these holders built in. Okay. So the inner box, this one's white in color, this one's gray, supposed to be grayish old color for the paper. Um, inside it says DMG APEE. -E. The error one is supposed to have U slash DMG APEE. -E. But this one is uh, reminiscent of the Y fold ones. They have DMG APEE -E for the Y fold. All right. We'll go to the back. Pikachu looks pretty more yellow on the fake ones. It's lighter on the original one. Um, the official seal. Oh, let's see. The official seal. It's missing the R on the bottom. So you could see on the original one, it has an R on the right lower corner of the official Nintendo seal but otherwise it looks pretty good Marco looks pretty good the font on the official seal is kind of off all right and the font on these are they're pretty good the TMs again I guess the TMs the asterisk it looks like a dot already because it's a poor printing this one is like much better, as you can see. And the white background on the back here is pretty pronounced than the white background on the fake ones. All right, anything else that we could find, but here you go, here's the side-by-side -side comparison of the fake ones. And this is another original one. So I have in here, this one's black, it's probably an error. This one has these, it's really, really more pronounced. Okay, for this box. I didn't even notice that till now. I gotta look at my other error ones to see if it looks like that. All right, and that's it for the box. We're gonna go for the cartridge. I know I have a separate uh, separate video for the cartridges, but we'll do it anyway here, just quickly. Because this one's a pretty good copy. Font here is... So, what's fake and what's original? You can't even tell from here. 
You could tell from the back because it has this difficult thing to open for the original. The priming ones, it, ne it didn't show up until Game Boy Advance for Nintendo. Okay, and it, the uh, screw to open is usually in the bottom here, not in on top of here. Okay, bat pen made in Japan. It's bigger on the fake. The original is here. Side looks pretty good. Top, nothing really that you could tell any difference. All right. And in here, Blastoise has these black backgrounds. On the original one, it doesn't have it. The font of BMG APEE. It's different. This is the fake one. The E rating looks pretty close. Not a lot of things you could tell except maybe the TM. The TM again for this authentic one is pretty pronounced. The TM on the fake ones can barely can't really read it. The Nintendo Oh and this that's another one. It's this manufacturing stamp here doesn't have it on the fake. Let's see. TM the TM is there. Looks like there's a slight difference in font but it's close enough. The background here has these uh, grainy characteristics. The fake one doesn't have that. Alright. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. And that's it for today. I hope you found the video helpful. I tried to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these fake stuff to an authentic ones that I have. Um, when I do find where to get these cheap ones, um, I just uh, try to get one myself and do a side-by-side -side comparison to make sure that you don't get fake when you're buying these kinds of Pokemon games. Um, they cost a lot of money and you don't want to keep one thinking that you have an authentic one and then years from now you um, you'll be surprised that it was fake. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And have a good day.